Hey guys, Tony here in the garage at the bench uh, doing a timeout because I got to stop for the night, but I thought I'd just post a little I made a mistake video. So I'm working on the dual motor mount setup here by level three for the uh, SCX-10. And you see this little spacer here. I was doing my intro and all that and I was talking and uh, holding up, showing the level three piece. Uh, everybody but apparently they the bag here has just the smallest little tear and I lost a couple of the components that I need I don't know if I lost them here or when I was pulling them from inside the house to the garage or what but I'm on a standstill so I thought I'd show you guys a few things first off check this guy out this is motor he's just out here chilling in the garage with us uh, on the show you'll see motor from time to time um, unless he moves to a bigger water area because this really is not enough water for him uh, Maybe we'll just get a little beta out here and move him on to greener Clearer pastures. So anyway, I've got the SCX 10 ripped down as you can see took out the Iger ESC great ESC really like this thing um, I didn't adjust my gearing so with the Novak motor that came with it. I was running a little hot. You can see right here the plastics melted around it. Uh, so needed to adjust the gearing because I was running on 3S and I wasn't checking my temps. My fault. Should have been doing that as well. But here we've got the uh, the dual motor mount set up. So the two motors, two 27 turn axial motors. They look different but they're both the 27T uh, AX24004 and this you can see is the same so just a different wrap on them that's all right because I've actually got two different color pinion gears I think they're up here that'll go on them so the black one will go on the black motor the silver on the silver anyway yeah that wasn't intentional either but it's what I've got so I'm gonna do it that way but anyway, that's kind of what's going on here. I got to show you though, the X Max now has a home for those of you guys who've watched my videos and saw the one where I mentioned him not having a home. He got a home because I just built some shelving up above the new furnace system in here, the HVAC. So I've got some storage now for the cars. And uh, yeah, so that's basically it. I'm on standstill. I've got to either try and talk to the guys at Level 3 RC about sending me. Uh, two more spacers or maybe I'll just measure them or take this one in and try and get a match somewhere or just order the whole kit again I think it's 12 bucks so uh, that's on a standstill which means that this is out of commission for a little while which is a bummer with the new course that they've got going up at our local hobby shop so I want to get it running as fast as I can because the track up there is looking sick uh, it's not a track sorry the course so, um, yeah, so that's the update from the bench. Kind of disappointing, but you know what? This stuff happens. It's real life. This is reality. So now I, uh, I wait. It's the waiting game. So I've got all the mounts and the screws now for the motor, which is what I was waiting for. Uh, but now we're on break number two. Even though I thought I had everything tonight to go ahead and do it, I probably on my own stupidity... I even mentioned as I was filming that I thought I heard something drop, but yeah, anyway. So guys, from the bench here, Tony, just saying keep it real guys and have fun RCing.